one of which I feel is one of the most admirable traits anyone can have, which is, in fact, his fierce devotion to all he is host to. I can say I first truly saw this trait in him with his first god, Pika. I still remember seeing how proud you were as you marched up next to your mom as she led Pika to the school playground to show her off. Joshua has more than proved his devotion early in life through Pika, as his love and enthusiasm for her was blatantly obvious to any who saw the way he would interact with her. The bigger obvious ways he showed this was how Pika would always sleep in the bed with him, or the fact how he would always make sure that she got treats or people food or whatever. But what I mainly am referring to is all the little ways that he proved it as well. Something as simple as the way he would play with her, how he would train her, feed her, and especially in the way that he would even clean up after her. No matter how hard or how messy anything got, his true devotion to her was always there, from the first moment to the last spent together. Joshua was always there for her as she was there for him. I truly believe that was the first time that Joshua truly understood what love truly meant with how diligently he cared for and looked after Pika. I can keep talking on and on about more stories and more qualities that are hard to admire about Joshua, but it isn't just me. Joshua, your father first described you as stubborn. Your mother describes you as empathic. Your brother Caleb says you are exciting and a great brother. Manny says you are welcoming. Your uncle David says you are, there is one word to describe you, John. <laughs> Derek used the word determined. <laughs> Derek ended up using the word determined. Caleb Serrano said steadfast. Liam said confident. Joshua Tennyson said dynamic. And saving the best for last, your wife use the words adorably nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> These are just a few people whose lives you have directly impacted and who will always be a well, no. These are just a few people whose lives you have directly impacted and who will always have the positive memory of you forever in their lives. Joshua, just as you have inspired me, May you and Victoria find inspiration in each other as you begin this chapter of your lives together. May you both enjoy the little things in life, like books, games, and all the nerd things, and strive to share those little things with each other every day. May your devotion to each other be unwavering and become reinforced with every new challenge you two take on together. And may the love you two share be as true be true as you both diligently take care of each other, no matter how difficult or messy life may get. I would like to end this speech by saying thank you to everyone who helped make today possible. Thank you specifically to your parents, Kim and John Griffin, for raising such a great man. Thank you, Victoria, for finding this man. And finally, by saying thank you Joshua Wayne for being such a dear friend, son, and brother to so many of us here. I love you. Cheers, everyone.